One thing I do have to say, I'm really glad I'm me and not Monica Lewinsky today. I'd much rather be where I am and doing what I'm doing. Um, you know, for me, I couldn't talk to Starr once I found out that he was who he was and that his investigation was what it was. I mean, now we are criminally investigating sex. And I just think, for me, the decision was I'm not having anything to do with it. You know, this girl has lawyers. Evidently, it was more important to them to make a deal than it was to stand up for something. I didn't really have anyone but Pat and my brother to talk to. And when I sat down with them, I said, I'm not going to do it. I didn't have any lawyers who needed to get me out of danger or who wanted to make a deal or wanted to make a name. I don't like her lawyers. I don't know them, but I don't like them. Sometimes integrity is more important, and it was for me. And I'm glad I'm me, and I'm glad I'm not her today. I wouldn't want to be her. I, can't, I wish I could, but I'm under the court order. I can't discuss any of the evidence. I can't discuss the merits. Um, you know, I, I mean, that's, you know I'm chafing at that, but uh, I'll get the opportunity soon enough. I am more angry than I've ever been that this investigation is going on into sex and that Ken Starr is still going right ahead. Somebody should do something about it. Can't talk I can't this talk case. about this case, but don't, talk, doesn't talk everybody know that what Ken Starr is doing is wrong now? I mean, I was one of the first people to say this guy is after the president. I think it's clear. I think everyone knows it now.